It's no secret that if you want to search for anything on the internet, you're probably going to have to use Google. I mean, the phrase Google it has literally become a synonym for looking something up on the internet. Want to know how I knew that? I Googled it. And that was very much on purpose. You may not know this, but over the years, Google has paid billions to be the default search engine on any device or app used to access the internet. And I'm not just talking pixels and Chrome. Buy any Android device and your default search engine with a search box right on your home screen is Google. Safari on an iPhone, Google. The act of typing anything other than a URL into the address bar of a browser results in a Google search. In fact, some would argue Google has a monopoly on search, including the US Department of Justice. So on October 20th, 2020, they sued Google for monopolistic practices that violate antitrust law. Just a little context. In the US, antitrust laws are a collection of federal and state government laws that regulate the conduct and organization of business corporations and are generally intended to promote competition for the benefit of consumers. Basically, making sure one company doesn't control the marketplace. And the DOJ, in their suit, claims that as one of the wealthiest companies on the planet with a market value of $1 trillion, Google is the monopoly gatekeeper to the internet for billions of users and countless advertisers worldwide. For years, Google has accounted for almost 90% of all search queries in the United States and has used anti-competitive tactics to maintain and extend its monopolies in search and search advertising. And let's be honest, you probably already knew that. But what you might not know is that we've actually been here before. In 2001, Microsoft found itself in a similar lawsuit over Internet Explorer. You know, that weird app you use to install Google Chrome? It turns out, back when folks were still trying to figure out how to even access the internet, Microsoft paid to be the default browser on almost every consumer computer that would ever be sold, including Macs. And while there's plenty to dive into around the case, what's important is the case demonstrated that by forcing itself to be the default, Microsoft was locking other browser developers out of the marketplace, to the point where the typical consumer assumed IE was the only way to access the internet and had no concept of why or how you'd install another browser. So what does this have to do with Google and why is it bad? Well, just imagine a world where 90% of us still use Internet Explorer. A world where browsers weren't forced to get better through competition to the point where IE lags so far behind it just had to copy Chrome. The DOJ is claiming that Google is doing the same thing with search, but it's actually worse for search because search engines are powered by data. Every click on a search result makes the search engine better at search, but it also reinforces specific search patterns that might not be based on serving you the best search for you. I'm sure you've heard of the idea of the filter bubble. The idea that social media companies build you a bubble of content they think will appeal most to you based on your browsing habits. The same is actually true for search. Google has so much data on users, it can cherry pick results and ads that it thinks will appeal the most to you. Or more simply, you're literally getting different results from those around you even though you're asking the same questions. If you want to get a sense of what I mean, just try the simple experiment. Google anything at all. And then go to DuckDuckGo, Bing, Ecosia, or I guess if you really hate yourself, Yahoo, and search the exact same thing you'll probably notice you end up with different results. And so at this point, I wanna say, getting results you're most likely to find useful isn't a bad thing, but letting one company control the narrative is, especially if they don't want to be transparent about why and how their results are different. And because of this fact, before we go, I actually want to show you how to change your default search engine on Chrome and Firefox so you can try living outside your bubble and decide which search engine you prefer, and you'll probably be shocked at how easy it is to change. All right, let me show you how to change your search engine in Mozilla Firefox. First, we need to start with something so I can show you that it is actually going to change something. Let's start with something. Woohoo. So this is all the weird stuff I'm sure you've already seen like eight clips so far. Now to change the search engine, so it's not Google, I'm going to click on the three bars, go to options. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't show it in the pop-up, but it's there. Then click on search. Click on this drop down, and you'll actually see all these different ones down here. I personally prefer DuckDuckGo. And then you can just search literally anything, like something random. 
and you can see a bunch of different stuff. And I'm a big fan of DuckDuckGo because you have a little more control over what you're searching. So I can search Germany, I can search all regions. I think it was in Germany because I tested this before, but I can now see it in everywhere. I can choose to see results from the past day and I can choose how explicit I want that content. This time I want to search for my name, not because of hubris, but because I saw something in the image search, which I thought was the funniest thing. This, this, this AFL, this is apparently the Australian Football League card, and I don't know what's up with this, but that's the best thing that I ever saw. So if you ever search me, this image will probably show up. Anyway, click on the three dots, go down to settings, and I know you can't see the pop-up because of just the way that this does screen capture, but you're gonna go over to search engine, we're gonna click on DuckDuckGo, and now that should be the default search engine, so I'm gonna type in wildcard Cameron. I should get a lot of fun stuff, including these football search results. So to help prove these search results matter, I'm gonna search privacy stuff. That's a good one bunch of stuff that makes me not very happy and then I'm going to change it from Google which is my default by going to settings search engine duck duck go because that's my preferred and then go back back we're gonna open a new tab and search privacy stuff privacy stuff things that feel a little less dystopian Boom. And now you know how to change your search engine, even on your phone. Finally, I'd like to say, while appreciating the full irony that I uploaded this on YouTube, which is owned by Google, I hope you come away from this with a better understanding of how search engines affect your life and what you can do about it. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment with your favorite search engine, and I'll see you next time.